But he's right. I haven't done anything impulsive, ever. I don't have any tattoos or broken bones. I've never been high except for that choir trip to Montreal where I accidentally ate a pound of marijuana. Also, maybe I was never attracted to you because you're the kind of person who finds a way to talk about herself while lying in my dead mother's bed. Wow. Okay, well, for the record, it's mutual. I wasn't exactly chomping at the bit to be with a middle-aged man with crippling mommy issues. First of all, it's champing at the bit. Horses champ. And second of all, I'm not going to fight in bed with a woman I'm not even having sex with. Why? Is it weird? Of course it's weird. Lincoln was super gay. Thank you. I don't even want to think about my mother. And I know those pots aren't flowers. They're my mother's vagina. Good morning, Jack. You sleep okay? Colleen's minor bird told me you spent the night in the car. Uh, I slept fine. <laughs> Before you leave, I wanted you to have this. That was taken at the wrap party for our community center's production of Grease. Your mother was Sandy. Well, the fourth Sandy. The first three died falling off the car during summer loving. I don't know the last time I saw her so happy. <laughs> I'm glad she had you to uh, take care of her. Lemon? Jack, you need to come to Orlando and pick me up. I'm in Harry Potter World Jail. Well, I did it. I tried to live life, and it sucked. I came here without studying the park map beforehand, which is how I ended up in a long line that turned out to just be a crowd of people watching two owls have sex. Then the park started to fill up, but oh, I'm being spontaneous. So I tried to cut the line for the flight of the hippogriff, which is when Duncan here caught me. What is the point? Jack, I am who I am, and I'm never going to change. I'll die full of regrets, like that time I sat next to Richard Grieco on an airplane and just let him read his Hustlers without ever telling him I was a fan. Lemon, you're wrong. People can change. Maybe tomorrow, maybe when you're 85, you'll find a reason to do something totally out of character. After all, that's what Colleen did. Not to make this about me, but are you admitting that I was right about your mother's late in life les out? I just can't believe it. I know, and a woman of color, too. Good for her. No, not that. I can't believe she was happy. She was Mrs. Silly. Oh, sketch idea. At the end, when she said she just wanted me to be happy, I thought she was being sarcastic, because when I was growing up, I thought people who wanted to be happy were weak. Hippies, Italians, kindergarten teachers. And what am I supposed to do with this? I don't know how to be happy. What are you talking about? That is enough of your black Irish nonsense. Of course you're happy. It's never been the goal, Lemon. The goal has always been money or prestige or when playing hockey, the goal. Jack, in an hour, you are flying to New York City on a private jet to a party celebrating you as Cable Town's next CEO. It's everything you've ever wanted, and Colleen is looking down on you right now, and you're happier than you've ever been. Of course I am. <laughs>